are going to learn about the basic aspects of light, shadows and reflection. Light is a form of energy which is responsible for the sense of sight. It enables us to see things that are present around. Light enables us to see every object around us like trees, vehicles, houses, people and whatever that we see. At night, due to the absence of sunlight, it becomes dark which reduces the ability to see the objects around. When light falls on an object, some of the light get reflected. The reflected lights come to our eyes, we are able to see an object. Objects can be categorized into two, namely luminous object and non-luminous object. Luminous objects are those which produce light. For example, sun, bulb, tube light, etc. Non-luminous objects are those which do not produce light. Any non-luminous object is visible when light from luminous source falls on that object and reaches our eyes. Example is moon, trees, animals, etc. Now we are going to see the next topic, propagation of light. Light always travels in a straight line called rectilinear propagation of light. This can be proved by a simple experiment. For this, take a cylindrical tube which can be sent easily. Try to see a source of light such as bulb or candle through the straight tube. Once the tube is bent at some angle, it is not possible to see source of light through it. This happens because light travels in a straight line. A ray of light is the path along which light travels in the given direction. A beam of light is a bunch of light rays in the given direction. Another classification of object is based on amount of light that can be passed through them. They are opaque, translucent and transparent objects. Translucent objects are those objects which allow light to pass through them partially. We can see through these objects a little but not clearly. Example, polythene, butter paper, thin plastic sheet. Transparent objects are those that allow light to pass through them completely. We can see them clearly through these objects. Example, air, water, clear glass. Do you know how shadows are formed? When an opaque object is placed in path of light, a dark portion is formed on the opposite sides of object on the screen. This dark portion is shadow. The size of shadow depends on the distance of source of light and on the angle at which the light ray fall on the object. If the source of light is closer to the object, a larger shadow is formed than when the source of light is far from the object. The shadow can be seen only on a screen. The ground, walls of the room, building or other such surface act as a screen for the shadows you observe in everyday life. Shadows sometimes give lot of information about the object. Shadows are black in color and this is not changed by the color of opaque objects. So, a red and a yellow rose will have same black shadows. Friends, I want to ask a question. What is a pinhole camera? Do you know? I will tell about it. A pinhole camera is a simple camera without lens in the shape of a box. One of the side has a small hole and it produces an inverted image of the outside world and other side. A pinhole camera is composed of two boxes. One of the boxes fits inside another box in such a way that it can be slid into and fro. There is a pin sized hole at the front of the camera and droid translucent screen at the back of the camera. Friends, did you study the concept light, shadow and reflection? So study this concept well. Many questions asking about from shadows and light parts. So study these concepts well. We will meet again in the next chapter. Till then, goodbye.